So next, I'd like to take this idea of Fusion Team and the desktop connector, and I'd like to uh, talk to those in the audience that might have Vault Professional. So take all of that, all that power, all that awesomeness we just discussed in Fusion Team, and we add in Vault Professional. And what this allows you to do is data that's inside of Vault Professional, if you are working remotely or you have those other products in Vault Pro and you have a contractor or consultant, anybody out in the ecosystem that's not that that doesn't have access to your vault, you can collaborate using everything we just saw about permissions and fusion team hubs, but you we can set up bi-directional exchange of CAD documents, which means if you've formerly been having people um, running tool paths, analysis, making drawings for designs inside of your vault and emailing it to you, and you're wondering how do I continue to do that, you could set up Fusion Team along with Vault Professional and have them do that. All of that permission model still holds true. But what this does is it synchronizes data that's in Vault with what's up inside of Fusion Team. So there's a time, there's a schedule, you can do it manually or you can just let it go automatically and it will synchronize um, unidirectionally or bidirectionally data that's out there um, inside a Fusion Team with what you have inside of your vault. And this is done through first allowing it, you map the, the cloud drives, and this is an administrative effort. But once you do this, you have the ability to filter down and map data from your vault out into Fusion Team. And inside a Fusion Team, that can be your contractors, suppliers, anybody downstream. So what we're, we're uh, doing here is we're just adding on to the functionality. So you can start with Fusion Team desktop connector, but if you have Vault Pro or you're looking at Vault Pro, this is a, um, this is a way of working with people on the, um, the outside of your vault and the outside of your company. 